I said, Jermaine Phillip here tonight in his debut fight. Both fighters coming in with their debut fight. Uh, Jermaine's fighting out at Riviera Beach, Florida, but he's from Florida Kickboxing Academy here, at local gym. Yeah, excited for this one, Kyle. We've got William and Jermaine both debuting, both from really good quality gyms. I spot Charles McCarthy over there in the corner for Terry, so uh, very impressive pedigree behind him, you can tell. Well, both fighters came out trying to take the center of the ring right now. They're trying to fill each other out. A little probing jabs just to see who, who, how they want to react, how they want to flinch. Not a whole lot of action necessarily in the beginning, but it seems like they're willing to start throwing his shoulders. Yeah, I like the matchup here. Very similar height, similar body type. It's always good when you get somebody your size, you know, going up against you, especially in a debut fight. Oh, nice body kick there for Jermaine. Yeah, before that, Terry had a nice little sneaky right hand down the pipe, and, but that was a nice answer. Yeah, you can tell both of these guys have been training quite a bit. They're not just rushing in. They're not sitting there and trying to, you know, headhunt. They're, they're trying to set stuff up, which is, again, very impressive for debut fighters. Both Definitely. exchanging uh, good straights there and landing on each other. To me, it's very interesting to see that right off the bat, Terry, two straight rights right down the middle, found a home. Another one right yep. there. Yep. So I'm, that could be there for the rest of the fight. Let's see how he tries to set it up. If he keeps throwing it just by itself, I'm sure – that uh, uh, Jermaine's going to be able to nullify it eventually, but it's nice to see that three in a row. Oh, stiff yep. jab by Terry as well. Yeah, Jermaine's got to set a little more up here. He's kind of just hanging out there right on the edge, waiting to see what Terry will do, but Terry's starting to find a home for that straight, just like you said. So uh, I'd like to see Jermaine move a little bit. A little. There you go, head movement, you know, right down the middle, put some combos together, just kind of get Terry uncomfortable because I feel like Terry's getting a little comfortable in there. Yeah, it looks like they're both starting to wake up. It seems like the pace is slowly starting to pick up. I mean, being an opening fight of a big promotion like this, like there's going to be some jitters in the beginning, so you got to get hit in the face a few times before you get the injury rolling. So good opening first round for our first fight of the night here at the Ariadne Event Center in Pompano Beach, Florida. Again, guys, this is the uh, 23rd installment of the prestigious kickboxing League Fighters Rep. Uh, it's great to have them back here in the state of Florida. Great to be commentating with you again. It was an awesome experience last time. Great promotion. And uh, every time they come to Florida, it's a great night of fights. It's yeah, awesome. absolutely. Yeah, glad that they asked us back. Glad that we're here to give you another great night of fights. Uh, the card is stacked. You've got a main event, a 125 East Coast title. This is actually a rematch, Kyle. These two fought in their debut fights years back. But now they're coming here to Fighters Rep. They're going to duke it out for the East Coast 125 title. So that's your main event for the evening. And before that, we've got a lot of, lot of really good fights. A lot of debut fights, but again, coming from good pedigree gyms, I expect a lot of action tonight. Oh, most definitely. And then I also see on the card, there's actually a lot of MMA fighters that are dabbling into the kickboxing realm, which is very interesting to see, because uh, there's a few fighters here that have fought for a few amateur uh, MMA uh, titles here, and now they're coming in, trying to make a name in kickboxing, and let's see where they stand. Yeah, got to work on your striking, especially in MMA these days, so I think it's good that these MMA guys are starting to branch out and take some kickboxing fights. Definitely. and. You know, I'm sure they do jiu-jitsu matches as well. It's always great. But I will say I'm impressed by Terry so far. With being a debut fighter, to have his strikes be very precision-esque in a sense. Like, right down the middle, there's no looping to him. And he's had decent head movement in and out. So yeah. I need to see uh, Jermaine kind of adapt to what Terry's throwing at him right now. He definitely needs to be scoring a little bit more. I would like yeah. to see a little bit more probing uh, jabs by um, Jermaine to be yeah. able to try to get Terry on his back foot, maybe offset those straight strikes. Yeah, absolutely. Terry's definitely composed in there. He knows he's finding a home for his punches. I think he's doing it. Oh, huge overhand right by Terry. Just barely catches Jermaine, sends it to the canvas. Looks like he's okay, but a standing eight count by the referee to start this first match of the night. What a great overhand right by Terry just to catch the tip of the chin of Jermaine. Yeah, definitely caught him there. That was a clean knockdown. Jermaine seems fine, but you know that happens. Debut fight. Terry's got some power. He's finding, like you said, he's finding a home for that right. I think Jermaine knows that. He's going to try and come in a little hot here because he wants to get that point back. Uh, what I'm noticing by Jermaine, though, I don't know if he's starting to get a little winded already, but now with after each punch, his hands are coming down. Yep. His hands are coming down there about mid-chest right now. Before it, opening fight, see right there, his hands are down. He got hit with another one overhand right. He's got to be able to protect his face and get his head off the center line. Yeah, I'd like to see him work the body more with some body kicks. Jermaine was finding a home for that body kick. Level change right there. That was really good for him. He's keeping his head on the center line, and that's how he got caught with that right hand. Good leg kick by Jermaine there on that exchange. 
Terry's still being cautious, though. I mean, he got a knockdown, but he still knows Jermaine's dangerous. See that body kick landed flush as soon as Terry walked in. I would like to see more of that from Jermaine. Oh, most definitely. I'm actually surprised. Terry's standing pretty straight up with his approach. Um, I would like to see Jermaine kind of capitalize on it, but oh, huge straight right by Terry again. And I'm, was that that was a teak, right? Uh, I, I think it. that he was a right, right hand. Yeah, I think that was another right hand. That right hand is is really coming in, in strong for William Terry over here. I think he knows that, and he's just trying to capitalize on that. But yeah, it's a piss. It doesn't even seem like he's throwing it full speed. He's just throwing it right down the middle just yeah. to test the chin. Oh, the one that the actually off. dropped his hand out that route wasn't a hard punch. Punch. It just I caught the tip of the oh. We all both know on those type of strikes, it doesn't take much to send a fighter to the ground. Yeah, but absolutely. Jermaine had great composure, though. Came back, tried to come back with some good pressure, good leg kicks after that. So it's going to be an interesting round coming up, but Jermaine needs to press it forward. Yeah, for sure. I'd like to see Jermaine kind of take the um, advance here, take the center of the ring. Keep William Terry at bay with those body kicks. Those body kicks are landing. He's not blocking them. He Every time he gets hit with one, he's kind of, you know, taking a second to come back in. Um, but again, if he just kind of keeps his head on the center line, he's going to keep getting teed off on with those one-twos. Um, so I'm sure he's getting that advice right now from the corner. And then you got William over there looking fine. He's standing up. He doesn't really look, you know, too out of shape here. He looks like he's ready for round three and ready to capitalize on those knockdowns. Yeah, he's not even taking the seat. No. He's standing. He's ready to go. <laughs> he's ready. Looks like he's got Matt Waggy in his corner too. Another local pro here, very well known, very well pedigreed, uh, you know, background MMA striking type style. But yeah, definitely came out trained well. Looks ready for this fight. Um, it's gonna be an exciting third round. See, Jermaine's keeping his hands up a little bit more. I'm sure his coaches mentioned that to him in between rounds. He's actually making an emphasis on trying to keep them up high. Yeah, like you said, uh, Terry's standing a little tall there. His chin is up high if Jermaine kind of sees that you know comes in a little bit head movement uppercut to the chin he could he could catch Terry but just like you mentioned Jermaine's definitely throwing more uh, kicks more leg kicks so far than the body shots but he is throwing the kicks more they were landing at a good rate in the early rounds but might be too little too late unless he's trying to set something up behind it yeah for sure he's definitely down on the scorecards he knows that that's why he's coming out oh Ooh. dude straight right again by Terry lands on Jermaine but Jermaine is firing back with his back on the ropes Jermaine's pressing forward. Terry's trying to clinch up with him. Referee's going to step in and separate yeah. these fighters. What a great exchange by both these fighters right there. Both taking shots by each other. Yeah, that was. Oh, we oh. got a groin shot right here. Looked like the big toe barely caught it. Yep. Yep. Yeah. Imagine. Hearing uh, the coach for Jermaine right now is exactly what I was saying in, after the end of the first round. Trying to press and get Terry on that back foot seemed to be where he was getting some success early in the rounds. And that's what I would like to see him do. And that's exactly what his coaches are yelling at Jermaine yep. right now. Yep. Both guys getting a little bit of a breath here. Uh, nobody looks in too out of shape. Jermaine breathing just a little heavy. I think he's trying to put out more work this round knowing he's down on the scorecard so definitely going to come in hot with the combos i mean yeah that exchange there both guys got a little bit you know mm -hmm. uh terry clipped jermaine and then jermaine came back and uh overwhelmed him so good yeah, terry hit him with that straight right and then jermaine sat on his heels and came back firing and started pushing him forward to the other side of the ring so it was a great great exchange both fighters in this fight it's like we got Terry over here coming down with the straights again. Just a nice jab, a nice right hand. He's finding a home for it every time. He's not going to really shy away from that. But he knows Jermaine's still dangerous. He knows Jermaine wants to <laughs> wants to get some of those points back. So he's playing it smart. You know, he's staying right on the edge, moving every time he punches, and he's not trying to get into these crazy exchanges with Jermaine. Exactly. Jermaine is actually starting to throw some straight on the line punches here in the third round. At least when he's pressing forward, trying to put Terry on that back foot. He's throwing some good exchanges right here, but he needs to keep that coming. See, right now, Terry's coming back forward. Yep. Like, once he gets Terry on that back foot, he stops. He needs to keep yeah. going. Yep. I mean, knows the third round, no it's late, and no it's like the tempo might be getting to him a little bit yep. once he's been dropped in that first round. But that's when he's finding success, is getting that fighter on that back foot and pushing him back, making sure to take away that power with that as well. But Terry's doing a great job. He keeps that piston of a right hand yep. by his chin, and he's just timing Jermaine at the right moment. And that's how he's hitting him. 
Like, they're not hard shots per se. Yes, they're hard punches, but it's just more perfect time punches. And yeah. Right down the middle, and it's clipping Jermaine. Yeah, Terry did a great job. I mean, like we said for debut fighters, I mean, the composure, the footwork, just the anticipation. They weren't rushing into anything. They were trying to set things up. And, yeah, Terry saw that. He saw that he could sit there and in time Jermaine, land one of those straight shots, and they worked. You know, he got a knockdown. So, you know, maybe Jermaine will hopefully look back, learn from this, kind of see his mistakes. Um, I'm going to go with Terry on this one just because he's got the knockdown. He's up on the scorecard. But it was a nice pushback there from Jermaine in the Even third though round. I, I'm going Terry with you as well. I think Jermaine's best round was the third round. Yeah, absolutely. So yeah. he wasn't out of the fight by no means. It was a great battle back and forth. Both guys were scoring shots. I mean, other than that drop in that first round, every time that Jermaine did get clipped, he was firing back at Terry trying to get yeah. So, both fighters win. One more time for these two warriors laying it out, all out on the line. After three hard-fought rounds, all three judges have this bout 30-27 for your winner via unanimous decision. Fighting out of the red corner, William Terry!